for me, Art Unbound is, a, is one of those fun projects. Some of the materials that come to us are too damaged to sell, and they go to the recycler. Art Unbound, it's all about recycling. Or what if we could give these uh, materials a chance at a new life as art? So to take these pieces of recycled material and turn them into magical art pieces is what this show is all about. It'll be a gallery event from October 22nd to November 21st. And then at the very end, there will be an art auction. The uh, event on the, on the 21st is uh, $50 and uh, those are available if you contact the library, the Friends of the Library. They're really going to wow Columbus. For this project, I decided to work with traveling guides. Um, I chose five different types of traveling guides that I found from the collection in the library, and what we have in front of me here is Egypt, Malaysia, Florence and Tuscany, I've got one in Barcelona, uh, the Caribbean and then Australia. One of the aspects that's really fascinating about traveling guides is that they have to make you want to go there. Apart from the pictures in every traveling guide, there is a lot of information about the culture. So it's kind of like a history book, a little bit of that. I've been ripping off all the maps that I can find and I've also been collecting two groupings of words or phrases. The first one is phrases and words that make the place feel very different, exotic, exciting and mysterious. Beaches and fishing and dining and shopping, shopping in the outdoors, excursions, hiking. So these are the words that entice you to go. And then the other pool, which was actually much easier to come across, was words and phrases that make you feel as if it would be easy to actually make this trip possible. Agencies to contact, uh, visiting with children, what do you do if you visit with children? Where to stay, word of mouth, currencies, even things like shoe sizes. I have started collaging all the maps on both of my panels. It's coming along and I have another few pieces that I want to add. It's been a couple of days and I've been working on it. Um, I applied a layer of acrylic paint down to create a globe on top of all of the collaged paper. And now I'm going into the circle and slowly drawing with the graphite pencil so I could fill it in and make it look more like a globe. I um, finished filling in the globe and decided that it needs something else and added a little tourist uh, person on top of it with a small little suitcase and a gigantic camera and a white t-shirt and little white socks. He's on top of the globe because all the words around him are phrases that entice you, enchant you, make you want to go to this exotic place and do all these fun things there. The traveling guides are also very overwhelming and the kind of phrases that go with that are, you know, money and planes and being on time and all these quite heavy and stressful phrases. So I haven't finished this other part of the series, but the idea is that you'd have one on top and then another person underneath for the second one.